This is my life planner that I use for work. So these 12 boxes are at the front of the life planner. If you're not familiar, when you open up your life planner, you have your vellum here, you have your name page. There's this beautiful page here, which I love, love, love that. There is an 18 month overview starting from July, 2024, because that is when this planner starts through the end of December. And then there are these 12 boxes. Welcome back or welcome. I'm Tina. Thank you so much for spending a little time here with me today. So I did do a video prior to this one, setting up my boxes in my daily duo. So I have that right here. So if you want to see how this one came together, I will link that video here for you. I want to have a general central place where I have all of my like affiliate information, my usernames, my passwords, like any discount codes that are uh, associated with that affiliate brand. And then as far as any of the websites that I use, the same thing. I need like my username and password and then any um, like key information that I might need. I love using the Evolve Colorful Planner for my work planner because I do not use stickers. So I do like to have it the color in here though. So I have this really pretty sweep of color over here. And I want to add a little bit more color to the boxes. I picked out some colors here and I picked out um, actually 12 different colors to use in here. So I like these six for this side and then I have these other ones here for the other side. So these are zebra mild liners. They are the brush pens. They do have like this nice brush tip here on one side. And then the other side has got like the, um, the fine tip or what they call a fine tip because it is a marker. So um, I'm going to be using the brush side to fill in like the heading boxes. So let's go ahead and work on this side first. And I'm going to kind of flip the planner back onto itself. That way gives me a better angle for me to go ahead and do this. And I kind of want to figure out what colors I want to bring in here. I think I might do like the pink here, thinking maybe yellow, this orange. It's like this color, like a rosy orange. It's not really orange. This is more of an orange. So probably do this one here. And maybe, maybe like that. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put these here so that way I remember which ones I'm going to use where. I think that's a good way for me to figure that out. So whenever you're using like these types of markers, you definitely want to lay them down first before you write on them. I don't recommend writing and then using this over like a black um, gel pen or anything like that because it's probably going to smear all over the place. So I'm just filling this in and I want to have just some color in here. I did something similar on this uh, planner here. I'm going to bring it back so you could see it with some neutral colors here. So um, again, you could watch that video and see how that came together. I think I'm just going to kind of go across here. So these boxes are really nice to do all kinds of things in here. It's kind of like a nice centrally located at the front of your planner and, you know, just good like reference point. So then, and I, this is the first time I'm kind of doing this, like coloring in the boxes. And I like it, something different. I like to do different things every year with my planners when I set them up. And that one got a little bit crooked, but not bad. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think this will be good here. It's kind of like a lime green. I was trying to stick with the colors that were like across here, 
but it didn't really like work out exactly the way that I wanted to just because there weren't like all these colors so I needed to pick like six colors that I thought would look nice in here all right and then we're gonna use this one here oops I sort of oh got a little crooked there all right That one's not as neat as the other ones, but oh, I like the way that looks. It looks so fun, right? Okay, let's flip it over and let's do the other side. Let me get these out of the way. And these are the six that I chose for this side. And let's see how I want to do this. I don't want to do like these two together like side by side because then it's like too much of the same so I'm trying to like break these up and let's see maybe I'll do it like that and let's see here kind of like maybe the blue here see there's kind of like two green ones maybe do it like that I think that that will look nice all right let's go ahead and start off here now the lighter ones are going to be a little bit easier to see things through and that's why I didn't want to pick out colors that were really dark. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have broken those up a little bit more. Oh, well, I can't really do anything about it now because it's already there. I had swatched these colors out, but then I think I changed my mind here a little bit, but that's okay. Um, now I'm wondering, is that like too much of the same? Should I, no, I'll do this. That's fine. All right, perfect. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Let's open this up and see how it looks. Oh, look at how pretty it looks. I really like this. This is going to be really fun to open up and reference to, like, every time I need to come in here. All right, so I do need to write in my affiliates, but I will do that later. Um, but I am going to write in the things that I need to, um, just so that way you can kind of get a little bit of an idea of how I'm going to fill this out. Um, I, I like to use this pen, but then I also like to use my Sarasa clip pen. Uh, this one is nice. I usually use this like in my notebook a lot, but for this purpose, I really do like the 0.5 in, in the Sarasa clip pen. So this is my like favorite pen to use. All right, so I went ahead and I filled this out 
as much as I could without like obviously sharing any personal information with you. So the headings that I colored in, I will go ahead and write in the brands that I have an affiliate with. So I am an affiliate of Erin Condren. So if you do decide to purchase anything, I greatly appreciate if you use my affiliate link that is down below in the description. So what I would write in here then is Erin Condren and then the affiliate info, that is the uh, like site that I need to go to to log in. That way I can see what um, kind of commission I have earned. So I need to have that site and that will go here. And then along with the site, of course, like any site, you're going to need a username and you're going to need a password. So that is what I listed here. So that's how this site is set up um, with the same exact information, the affiliate info, username, password, and then um, per some affiliates, I do have like additional discount codes for, and then I will write that in there. So that way I have everything in one place. That way I can reference it accordingly. Now, if you do want to know what my affiliates are, I do have them all listed down below in the description. So if you are shopping any of those shops, greatly appreciate if you use my link and you can find those all below. And on this side, I was going to be like different websites that I use. So for example, when I create my thumbnails and a lot of different things, I like to use Canva. I'm sure you've heard of Canva. It's very popular. So what I will do is I will go ahead and write that in here. Um, whatever box I decide to choose. And then I will write in like what the username is for myself. And then of course my password. And then I do have a little um, section here that I noted on um, these two boxes for cost because some of the sites uh, there is an annual fee or monthly fee, whichever, you know, you choose to opt for or whatever they have available. So for example, I do like to get the pro version, I think it's called of Canva. So there is a fee for that. So that way I can just jot that down and I have that all like in one place. So for right now, these 12 boxes like work perfectly for me. Excited to go ahead and um, finish filling everything in. So just a little bit of an idea for you. For example, if you are a content creator and you kind of want to figure out a place to put all of that information, this is how I'm using um, this section in my life planner. And then if you want to see how I use it, these boxes in my personal planner, check that video out to give yourself a little bit of some tips or ideas um, for you to use in your personal planner. And if you are using it for business, this is another great way to use this section. I hope that this video helps you out a little bit. If you like it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell when you do. If you like this video and you think that someone else would find use in the information in here, please share it with them. Greatly appreciate that. Drop me a comment down below. Do you use the 12 boxes at the beginning of your life planner? If you do, let me know how you use them. I would love to hear your tips and ideas as well. And if you're not using them, maybe let me know if this has given you uh, some ideas on how you can use them. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you watch this all the way through till the end, leave me a marker emoji. All right, thanks so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.